you know, all of the drone work that you're seeing in this video and really the videos to follow of our time in Colorado were shot by our oldest son, Caleb, who's 15 years old. And it's a little bit of a challenge with Caleb sometimes to get him to really appreciate the, the natural beauty, the waterfalls, the mountains, the, the peaks and the valleys. He'll often say to me when we're out on the trail or when he's flying the drone that he looks for areas that he thinks other folks will appreciate and, and find to be beautiful, but, but that they don't do much for him. And when we were out on the trails out in the Olray area, when we were going down Imogene Pass, when we were in Yankee Boy Basin, I just kept saying to him, like, I don't care who you are, this is pretty. And when we got back home and when we pulled up the drone footage and I looked at it, I just thought to myself, man, he got it, he saw it. These trails in the Olray area um, have been a bucket list item for me. I have been waiting to get out here. Um, although I have to admit that our crew, um, several in our crew, this was terrifying. Um, if you've been watching us a while, you might have picked up on that my wife Lauren does not like heights. And so for many of these trails, there was a significant amount of anxiety both before and afterwards on these trails. So huge props to her for working through some of her fears and getting out to see some of this stuff and um, if she's not in all the videos to follow you'll know why. Accompanying us out on the trails in the Olray area was David McKay. David owns his own travel photography business with his wife Allie and Together, they travel the country and the world, bringing people to just exciting new areas to photograph some amazing things. And, and what really struck me about this trip um, and this, my time with David out on the trails is that he barely took out a camera. He had his iPhone with him, and that was about all he was snapping photos with. And when I asked him about it, he just said to me, you know, Brad, sometimes it's, it's good just to enjoy it, just he, to take it all in and it. not have to worry about documenting every single thing. And I totally got what he was saying. One of the things you're going to find if you come out to the Olray area and check out these trails is you're going to find a lot of old abandoned mines, ghost towns, that sort of thing. And that was just the case out here on Imogene. We passed several rundown mines and small towns and it's 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 a good break to get out of the car and kind of explore and if you've got kids or if you've just got a curious mind um, it's a lot of fun to go walk through these places this is a mine and it's completely covered in snow probably can't see it but it's like all melting and it's super neat you know, when i had an adult and looked up this stuff we have so many stories that thing's tiny. Go inside. Come on. Because if it collapses, look at look at the stability of it. Fine. You can stand outside and look in, but do not go inside. 
It's tiny. Nice. As far as difficulty level goes on Imogene Pass, I would say it's definitely a trail that you want to have a little bit of 4x4 knowledge, um, high clearance, and four-wheel drive. It's, it's not something that I would attempt um, in a two-wheel drive vehicle. It was interesting to me as well because we actually did Ophir Pass after this trail, and even the types of vehicles we saw on Imogene and really engineer versus Ophir were very different. Ophir is definitely the easiest of the Jeep Badge of Honor trails out there. So if you want a nice easy badge, um, or just, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a good trail, but, but it's definitely not as technical as imaging or engineer. On the whole, there generally are areas to pass each other if you have oncoming traffic. This is a two-way trail, generally speaking. There are some areas up on the shelf road that get kind of tight when you have to pass people and you just either have to sometimes back up or look for little areas to pull over. But it wasn't too terrible, um, unless you're scared of heights and being on edges, and then it kind of was. One of the really cool things about this trail, um, being that the pass is over 13,000 feet, you start, like when we started, it was bright and sunny, and by the time we were working ourselves to the top here, we're actually approaching, like going into the cloud. 
Um, and then actually once we were in the cloud, we had some, some light snow um, up here at the pass, which you'll see here in a minute. But, but it's, it's neat to transition not only from climate zones to just weather. Along with that, I would highly, highly recommend that before you do any of these high mountain passes that you have a good idea what the weather is going to be like. Um, even if it's just a, a passing thunderstorm with any kind of rain, as you can see, the trail gets real slick. We did see some small rocks falling. Um, I've seen videos where it was heavy rain and there's lots of slides, rock slides going on. So you just want to be careful before you head out and do these trails. All right, here's my lovely wife who has a bit of a fear of shelf roads and actually had quite a bit of anxiety coming up this trail. So props to her for coming along and putting up with me. Yeah. <laughs> if I have a stroke in the next, you know, day or two, you'll know why. <laughs> so we're at the top of Imogene Pass. Yep. And tell us so far, how has it lived up to your anxieties or I still hate the shelf road parts, um, but the views down when you get into the bowls and the little valleys are beautiful. It's it's stunning. Right now, you can't see anything. We're in the middle of a cloud, which is a little freaky when you're at the peak of a mountain and you have to navigate back down and you can't see 10 feet in front of you, you know. But we're safe where we're at now. For the moment. Yes. My feet are on solid ground. Yes. Good job, girl. <laughs> So I, I don't know if there's a weather station here at the top, but just to give you an idea, David McKay from McKay Photography Adventure Tours Extraordinaire is actually up here and I can just, he's what, maybe he's driving down here. He's about 20 yards away and I mean, it's not a whole lot of visibility here. So hopefully, I mean, that ought to make things a little bit interesting as we're coming down because folks coming up won't really see us coming down. So. Guess we'll be doing high beams and honking the horn on the way down. So hopefully this kind of clears out a little bit before we get going. So David doesn't know yet, but he's gonna back into this metal pole. I don't think he even sees it. Hold up, stop, stop, stop! Do you mean to back into the rebar behind your bumper or you wanna go around that? It's right here, man, you almost backed over it. I've already seen David back over his air compressor. He was about to roll over this. I even see it. <laughs> always, 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 if you're out with David McKay, make sure he's got a spotter. <laughs> make sure his camera's... Holy moly! And of course, you got to get a picture of the sign. Here is our beautiful group up at we the just top. came out of the cloud, so we can finally see again but we were up there in that peak. And uh, it's a little scary when you're coming down and you can't see in front of you. So on the way down, the last big settlement you pass is Tomboy. Um, if you're running this from Olray to Telluride, which we were, 
Um, Tomboy actually was a little town. Um, there was a school here, there was a mine, there was people that lived here year-round. Um, so again, it's just kind of cool to see these things, just like it's cool to see a six-wheeled tour vehicle. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. We've got several more videos of our time out in Olway, Colorado coming out in proceeding weeks, so look for them. Guys, if you're new to our channel, consider hitting the, that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it and leave a comment below, and we will see you guys again real soon. Peace.